Up for sale, 1951 Ford Victoria, finished in sportsman green and black. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 51 Ford Victoria. It's the first year of the hard top, so the no post. Uh, this car was meticulously ground up restored, which I can't always say about the cars that I have. You know, and I'm, I'm going to be honest when I have one. Uh, meticulously restored from the ground up. I have almost 30,000 in just receipts for the car from the last two owners. Um, 57,000 original miles, which are documented. Long time for the person that I got it from. It was restored for show, and I, as you saw in the one picture, I got a bunch of trophies. I've never done that before, but I thought, okay, I got a car that with trophies, I might as well show them. Um, so again, restored for show, however, with the ability to drive cross-country if you wanted to, an everyday driver if you wanted to. It's not it's not just a trailer queen roll on and off. You, you can drive it to and from show. Again, I wouldn't hesitate to drive this anywhere. Um, but it's a factory V8, the flathead with the three-speed on the column. And uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Every single thing works on the car. From the clock, I, I, you sit in there and you listen to a tick. Uh, it's got an aluminum radiator on it. But again, I'm going to go through it one by one. I'm just, it might be a little bit of a longer video. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any interest, let me know. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, here we go. First off, I might start with the trunk to get the paperwork out of the way. got this old school Ford key and I know what you're thinking where does the key go in right there so let me figure out how I can do this with two hands and of course I hit of course I hit uh, and video as I'm doing that um, again the fender skirts I have for the car you had to take them off to strap it down during shipment, and I didn't bother putting them back on because when I sell it, and whoever gets it, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to have to take them back off. So, um, as of May, the previous owner, who is a fanatic, by the way, he did an entire inspection on the car. He says there's 23 grease, grease fittings. He did all of them every, and he does them every 2,000 miles. He said a lot of, only the ace mechanics would know that that's what he just told me. There's actually some pictures from when it was painted. So, I mean, that that's ready to go. Uh, and it's even got, you know, for your winter months, what oil he would use. Um, there's an original Ford manual. We'll start with this right here. 1996 to 2014, there's $13,000 in receipts. And I kid you not, every receipt is in here. We're talking. We're talking like paperwork and not, not only like I said the guy was a fanatic everyone's written out and the price and the cost that's you know that, that's that I've never seen this before and there's pages of that okay and a picture of before the owner added the black on the bottom he said it gave it a classic look and I gotta agree with that um, so we'll come back to that okay this is the owner who I got it from 2014 to 21 this is what he spent on it that was 14000 I believe. And again, I'm not going to go through it. You see all the stacks there. And he wrote out every little thing, like the handwritten one in the previous one. And there it is. Um, but the, the trunks, you know, I'm not going to open this back up. Trunks fitted nicely with original carpet. The underhoods or an under trunk lids painted very nicely. Uh, being a longtime Arizona car, you know what that means. All original body panels. The floors are excellent and immaculate. And the, the frame supports are amazing, too. Um, spare. Scratch my nose real quick, okay. And uh, we'll go back to the front of the car. Shuts like a glove as well as the doors. Um, I do got to speed through this because I know I'm going to be too long on the video. Um, all the bright work on the car is in amazing condition, really. Um, just the faintest little marks on it here and there. Again, some toweling marks from wiping it off. The owner that I bought it from, he told me something not too long ago that um there's a little oh that's a little, a little touch up right there another one and i know there's another one right there 
he said that every time he would take it out and at the end of the week he would get underneath it he'd wipe it off he'd clean the entire car i mean i don't i've i've never bought a car from a person who does that to be totally honest with you i don't know if this is it yeah that's it i want to open the engine compartment Sorry, she's a heavy hood. I had to get the stick. The yeah, underneath is finished factory. That that looks amazing. Aluminum radiator. And again, even even down there, this is it. This is beautiful condition throughout. Always maintained nicely. There's the original tag. Um, ground up, restored, meaning like the rebuilt engine. All through everything was was redone on the car. Um, Great attention to detail too. I mean, look at tag, sticker, that stuff. Proper color, this and that. Um, it is six volt, which is the original, obviously style. It was resort to factory. Um, so let's get going here. Beautiful chrome trim, straight. There's not a dent on this piece of chrome. And if there is a thing, I'll point that out to you, just because it's a car of a different standard. Um, little, little touch up right there. It is base coat, clear coat. Even in here, how clean that is. The glass is excellent. The trim around the windshield is excellent. There's not even a dent on that. Not a dent on this. The top of the car is beautiful. Just a little bit of dust from sitting here for the last 15 minutes. On the, the door, there's a little bit of couple of chips right there probably from getting in and out another little chip maybe you got your keys when you open it I don't know uh, but down here this is all super nice very nice I can hear the clock ticking already and it's got the dark green interior which is the factory interior for the car and the interior is in beautiful condition as well the seats look like new carpet looks like new door panels everything like that I love the dark green headliner and the visors that match you can hear the clock I don't know can you hear it dash is gorgeous that's where the key goes in um, 56,868. Again, all the gauges work. So we'll keep going. This is as straight as an arrow. Again. Um, just the faintest little couple marks right on that trim line. And I know there's marks here from the uh, the cover that goes over it. So right there and down there again, you put the cover on, they go away. And there's a little crack in the paint right there. There's no bubbles down there, obviously. This piece of trim is gorgeous. dual exhaust which are smithies and I think that's a type of glass pack and it sounds really nice if you get on it a little bit it's got that nice vintage classic uh, sound very smooth running you give it a little you give it the gun just a small bit comes out beautifully a couple of little marks right there on the paint uh, door alignments excellent um, the alignment of the trunk is nice as well of course and uh, split rear window which is also a nice condition and the only thing that's really not factory is that they put speakers in the back. This piece of chrome here is probably original and untouched, so you got a little bit of minor pitting on that. There's a little chip and a touch-up, and another little chip that's been touched up right there.
and, and for whatever reason, this part of the car right here has a little bit of checking coming through. As you can see, and it's only right there, and I don't, I don't know why that is, um, considering the rest of the car is as beautiful as it is. Um, but also, oh, it's got Coker radial white wall tires on there, so you're getting your best performance on the road. Um, handling for sure. This sort of chain doesn't even have a lot of wear, maybe just the smallest little bit right there. On the on the interior paint on some of this green there's just that little bit of checking as well and I know it has it on that side too it will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video so if you have any interest go on and check it out 51 Ford Victoria Speed column shift and a cool thing that the guy did you'll see in the picture the motor is painted the same color as the transmission which is the same color as the smithies which is the same color as the rear shocks he just a little tasteful thing in case you had it on the lift and you saw that uh, which I which I did of course uh, a couple little pencil tip chips and another little one right there and that's not one and that's a little mark right there on the paint so thanks for watching we will fire it up and then drive it jumps out of me. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to fire her up now.